And we were joined by Republican analyst Carl Calabrese and Democrat Jessica Schuster for some political analysis. As the race for governor gets closer in the polls, this was a very important debate for both Hochul and Zeldin. And we asked the questions to both our analysts to step back and look at tonight's debate as a whole and share what stood out to them for both candidates. I'd never seen Lee Zeldin debate. Um, so this was a first. Uh, after seeing him, I wish there were more debates because I think he's good. He's very good on his feet. He, he understands facts. As I say, he had a couple of really good stay with you lines uh, that they, they should play up. Um, you know, the, one of the problems with Kathy Hochul, I think, is that whenever she, she, she talks about plans for the future, whether it, be, whether it be economic plans, whether it be crime policies, it's always the next session of the legislature. Uh, that we have to wait and see what those are versus Zeldin's two very specific um, plans for removing a DA and suspending the cashless bail law. Here in Western New York and Erie County, we know our governor. We've known Kathy Hochul since she was a town council member of the town of Hamburg. So I am not surprised at the way she was poised, collected. I thought she delivered uh, many one-liners, you know, things that, that um, at the beginning, I think, I certainly think uh, Lee Zeldin settled into the debate, but at the beginning, I think he came off rather aggressive. I thought Kathy, um, I thought she seemed empathetic. She listened. Like I said, I would never say I'm surprised by those things because we, we do know our governor, um, and, and that's her. The debate tonight is basically a, a job interview to see who can uh, uh, get the most independence out there, those that have not made up their mind yet. To both of you, who won tonight? Take off your partisan hats. Who won tonight? And be pithy if you can. And why did they win? Carl. They both did what they felt they had to do uh, based on the polls they're looking at. For Zeldin, it was crime and the economy. Uh, and for the governor, it was abortion and Donald Trump and, and guns. Um, we'll see how that motivates people. But I'll tell you, I think it was a hard hitting debate. I think it was a good debate. Um, I think it was a same. I think they both drew blood at different points. I don't think either one knocked the other one out. Uh, my rule of thumb, most political people's rule of thumb, is that when an incumbent debates a challenger, if it's a tie, the debate goes to the challenger. Um, and so that's how I look at it. I consider mm -hmm. it pretty much a tie. I did think the debate was worthwhile. I thought it was good. I thought it fleshed out who these two candidates are and who we are talking about. Um, you know, I thought one for me, one of the most poignant moments was when Kathy Hochul looked straight to the camera and said, you know why nothing changed when Dobbs was overturned? Because I'm governor. And I thought that was a really strong statement that she had made. And I think that in terms of um, debating, I, I didn't necessarily see it as a tie. I didn't think Lee Zeldin, um, I, I didn't think, you know, Kathy walked all over him. But I certainly thought that the governor came out on top. Now, I think Carl's points are all correct, that it will depend on turnout. I don't know if this debate is enough to, um, to really inspire massive turnout on either side. Um, but certainly going into to election day, the governor has to feel good about the performance she had tonight. And I would give her the win.